Berlin. We're your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN News. I'm Gary Perna. Hundreds of people had to be evacuated from the Luzerne County Courthouse earlier this morning as a result of a bomb threat. Sheriff deputies ordered the evacuation after the fire alarm went off shortly after 9 a.m. The threat was cleared and the building remained closed to the public throughout the day. The Monroe County Courthouse in Stroudsburg was also cleared out this morning due to a threat. No word if the both are connected. Two women were wanted by law enforcement. They were apprehended by police in Mahanoy City on Friday. 23-year-old Darlene Brezen uh, was wanted by the Schuylkill County Detectives Bureau for failing to appear in court for drug charges. She was arraigned Friday afternoon and taken to the Schuylkill County Prison. Three hours later, officers from Mahanoy City Police apprehended 26-year-old Carrie Miller in the 400 block of West Market Street. Miller was wanted for failure to appear in court on drug offenses. Additional charges will now be filed against her for attempting to escape custody and possession of drug paraphernalia during the time of her arrest. Miller was also taken to the Schuylkill County Prison. Finally, 63-year-old Michael Swartz was taken into custody also Friday for a warrant issued by the Schuylkill County Adult Probation Office. He was apprehended by borough police as well. Hazelton City Police are currently investigating two fatal overdoses in the city that appear to have been caused by what authorities are calling a bad batch of heroin. Two people have died and police are reported that a third, de third near-death overdose also occurred within 12-hour period. The heroin is sold in bags with no stamps or markings and the drug is said to be laced with fentanyl. Fentanyl is typically used for chronic pain relief and in anesthesia. It can be up to 100 times as strong as morphine. Police in Hazleton have issued a warning to users about the deadly consequences of heroin and fentanyl formula. Wilkes-Barre police are investigating two stabbings that occurred uh, this over this weekend. Police were called to a home on Scott Street around 1230 Sunday morning for a report of trespassing. Officers found a 22-year-old victim with a stab wound to his abdomen. Seven, a 17-year-old female allegedly stabbed him with a large sword. Three other men were found leaving the home. 26-year-old John Dillon, 24-year-old Nicholas Space, and 26-year-old Michael Sikowski were all charged with criminal trespassing. The 17-year-old was charged as an adult with aggravated assault, simple assault, and false identification. She was taken to Luzerne County Prison for lack of $20,000 bail. In an unrelated incident, a 32-year-old man was treated for stab wound to his upper back at Wilkesbury General Hospital shortly after 3 a.m. Sunday as well. Police are on the lookout for a suspect or suspects that stole a vehicle in Hazel Township. State police report that someone used a Jeep Grand Cherokee to smash through the fence at Hazel Auto on South Church Street. The driver of the Jeep then proceeded to push a stolen 2006 Pontiac G6 through the lot and out through the front gate. The individual or individuals face theft and criminal trespassing charges. Anyone with any information about this incident is being asked to contact state police in Hazleton. Two people were rushed to the hospital after they were thrown from a vehicle in Luzerne County. The one car crash happened around 8 p.m. Sunday along Route 93 in Old Berwick Road in Hollenbach Township just outside of Nescapac. Police say witnesses reported that a Jeep Grand Cherokee was driving erratically, hit a guardrail, and went sideways before a man was thrown from the vehicle and a woman was partially ejected from it. Both were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. State police said that there were drugs found on the operator. Firefighters from Hollenbach, Nescapec, Dorans, and Sugarloaf Township Fire Companies all responded to the crash. That crash remains under investigation. A crisis was averted at a gas station after a pickup truck veered off a road and almost crashed in Sugarloaf Township. 
Police say the driver of the pickup swerved to avoid another vehicle on Route 93 in Sugarloaf Township. The pickup then struck a protective concrete barrier in front of the fuel pumps at the Pilot Travel Center. The driver wasn't hurt after the close call crash in Luzerne County. Coming up on WYLA News, officials in Hazleton react to the Pennsylvania Economy League's report. We'll talk about that ahead. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast here on WYLN. Tuesday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies, a high of 70 degrees. Wednesday, mostly sunny skies, a high of 74. Thursday, we can see some thunderstorms roll in in the evening, a high of 69. And for Friday, which we're all waiting for, we're going to see partly cloudy skies, a high of 66. Those overnight lows, not too bad either. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. For a decade, Schuylkill County had no property tax increases and all was good. Then serial tax increaser George Halkovich came along and the smiles quickly disappeared. Commissioner Halkovich raised property taxes three times in six years. Even worse, Halkovich used money from your property taxes to give himself a pay raise. Dan Muser's a fiscal conservative and reformer with a plan to eliminate all school property taxes. Dan Muser, he's on our side. I'm Dan Muser and I approve this message. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone. Go anywhere. Create! And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out! For yourself. Pennsylvania is a great state filled with good, hardworking people looking to get ahead. But Tom Wolf wants to raise taxes and take more of your paycheck. I'm Scott Wagner. I sign hundreds of paychecks each week. I see firsthand how much state government takes. I'm blunt, outspoken, and determined. I'm a garbage man. You won't always agree with me, but know this. I'm on a mission to protect your paycheck and cut your taxes. And I will always put you first. Former Lackawanna County Commissioner A.J. Munchak is a free man. His prison sentence for accepting bribes and seven other charges ended today. Munchak lived in home confinement outside of Orlando, Florida since his transfer from federal prison in November. After a 12-day trial in June of 2011, a federal jury found Munchak guilty of eight of 21 counts. Witnesses say Munchak and fellow Republican Commissioner Robert Cordero took $60,000 from county contractors. Senior U.S. District Judge A. Richard Caputo sentenced Munchak to seven years in prison and Cordero to 11 years in January of 2012. Munchak's sentence was reduced because of good behavior. His trial testimony denied taking any money. He appealed many times but, and lost and eventually gave up. A bank robber from Berwick received his sentence last week and will now spend the next 33 months in prison. 26-year-old Justin West was in court last Wednesday and sentenced by United States District Judge. Now, Wentz admitted to robbing the first national bank in Tannerville back on February 23rd of 2017. He pled guilty to the crime in October of 2017. Well, the Pell Report is finally here. The Pennsylvania Economy League released the report Friday. This is what the city could follow to get out of a financial hole it is in. The report lays out a plan for the city to follow, to choose to follow. The mayor and council are in the process of reviewing the report, which is over 200 pages long. I, th I think it really doesn't surprise me. It's an eye opener. Um, it's given us some information what we need to do, where we're at, you know, with each department, where we have to be. Mm -hmm. um, what I get out of it mainly is the big important thing is we need to have better control of our spending, where money goes, to make sure that it's being, you know, kept track of. The report asked the city to look at in increasing taxes levied on wage earners 
evaluate whether its form of government hinders its ability to generate revenue, and revisit agreements with municipal authorities to offset million-dollar deficits projected through 2022. The plan contains a number of recommendations that are intended to increase revenue and reduce costs. Colombo said all residents need to get involved. The important thing is all Hazleton residents, Hispanic, Mexican, white, whatever we are, we're all Hazletonians. We need to come to these council meetings, voice your opinion. We can't fix something if we don't know it's broke. You know, give us your input. The 23rd, of we're going to have 5 o'clock, the Pell Report's going to be there for public review. We need people to review it and come give us comments so we can move the city forward in the right movement. The plan is available at City Hall for review, and taxpayers have 15 days to submit comments either directly to Pell or to City Hall in writing. The public can also comment on the plan at a special meeting that's planned to be held May 23rd at 5 p.m. at City Hall. After the hearing, Council will then consider adopting the report in June. If Council does not adopt Pell's plan, the mayor can develop an alternative plan that must be reviewed by the state. If the city does not comply or violates its recovery plan, it could face sanctions from the state. Coming up on Gerardville's News Choice in Community and You, we learn about an upcoming event with the PTPA. Plus, four local athletes prepare for college. We'll explain coming up. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played, everyone. Stay with us. day in Pennsylvania, and there's a sign of hope. A sign families are saying no more to the high taxes that sent our jobs and children away. A sign of trust in a successful businessman, dedicated father, and American patriot. A sign families are supporting a conservative outsider instead of the backroom politician's hand-picked candidate. Above all, a sign. Tomorrow will be better than today. Strong families and strong values are what make Pennsylvania great. My mother was strong, and she raised me with Pennsylvania values like hard work and integrity. Republican John Schrin, running for Congress to fight for our conservative values. And I'll stand with the president to drain the swamp, secure our borders, and fight for the forgotten families of this country. Strong borders, strong families, strong values. John Schrin for Congress. I'm John Schrin, and I approve this message. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. And coming up in the community, gaslight. A lot of them probably don't know what that means. It does if you live in a house with someone who moves things and then tells you they didn't move them, but you know that they weren't there in that place when you left them. Ah, a lot of married people out there are nodding their heads right now. With me are two of the folks from Gaslight, Adam Randis, who is the director of Gaslight, and also the leading lady. Yes, this is, this is uh, Jessica Schaefer, and Jessica plays Bella Manningham. How are you today? I'm doing well. Do I sound like her at all? Uh, you're a, a little bit? Yeah. 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 <laughs> a, little, a little bit, yeah. Classic. She was, she mm -hmm. was the original. Yeah, she was. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be at the Pennsylvania Theater of Performing Arts. Adam, why did you get involved in this particular show? Well, I wanted to choose a show that would have some meat on its bones. And I think that this particular show, especially being done in 2018, 
people can look at it with a very different set of eyes, <laughs> considering you know the idea of gaslighting and how it works at an interpersonal level between individuals in a family or relationship between a husband and wife, but also how it works at a much larger level, at a societal level in some cases, in terms of you know, a world of alternative facts. And if you keep saying something that's not true, eventually it will become true. So I think it's, um, it was a prescient piece when it was originally made in 1938, and I think it has a lot to tell us now. And Jessica, why did you get involved? Why did you decide that this was the show that you were going to audition for? Well, I've worked a few times with Adam in the past um, in some plays, and he always brings something new to the table for me that I've not done that helps challenge me as an actress. Um, so this, I'm always excited to do anything that he um, is is a part of, and I've. I've enjoyed exploring this role because, uh, as Adam said, it has a lot of meat on its bones. Well, since of the fact that it came out originally in 1938, were there a lot of differences? Because when we think of going to the theater now, there are so many the modern, the SpongeBob, SquarePants, musical on Broadway. Who would have thought that? So you're bringing something back. Can you relate to that? Well. Um, We've put a few twists and turns and surprises in this to kind of make it fresh. Ah. Um, that thanks to Adam, if he wants to speak more on that. <laughs> um, we don't want to give anything away, no. but um, well, it's a show that already was out of out of time and place because when it was originally put on the West End in 1938, and then when they made the film in 1944, the original setting is Victorian England in right. 1880. Um, and they were dealing with a very specific style of three act, they call it like the perfect construction play. But the way that um, the playwright, Patrick Hamilton, was able to play with that format and bring in more psychological themes um, makes it something where even though it was kind of strictly formatted, it doesn't feel necessarily dated. Ah. And especially when you're dealing with the kind of interpersonal relationships where you have um, one person kind of exerting their control over another person um, and doing so in a way that unfortunately is still all too common <laughs> in today's society, I think um, audience members can relate to what's going on. Even though it's in a different place in a different time, the, the problems that they're dealing with are unfortunately universal. I'm laughing because I'm thinking of Jessica leaving rehearsal and then getting out and being on her way home and thinking, did that really happen? <laughs> <laughs> Has that happened to you? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can really, I've, I've had that kind of thing happen, not to the extreme that she has, and um, in the dramatic sense that she has, but of course, like we all do in our everyday lives, so yeah. It makes you wonder. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the other thing we have to mention, too, is this is a drama. Mm -hmm. It's not a musical, mm -hmm. so that's a little bit of something that's different. A lot of people would like to see a drama, so now here's the opportunity for them to see one. Adam, what are the dates? The dates are May 11th, 12th, and 13th, and then the next weekend, the 18th, 19th, and 20th. And we, of course, have all the information. We've been showing that on our screen, some of the very cool pictures mm. that you brought from some of the rehearsals. And that also gives our viewers an opportunity to see exactly what we're... Now, there's no highbrow. It's not mm. these and those and those and things like that. It's it's because a lot of people will think, oh, this sounds like Shakespeare. But it's far from that. Right. Give me a, a very brief synopsis. What does gaslight mean? Well, in the, in the context of the show, the question is, um, Mrs. Manningham starts out the show, and you can tell there's a tension in the relationship between uh, her and her husband. And where the mystery and the suspense comes in is we know that he's a controlling individual, and we know he's rather cold to her. But how much of what she thinks is going wrong and going on around her is being done by him, possibly to manipulate her, and if so, to what ends? And how much of it might actually be in her own mind? It's mentioned very early in the play that her mother actually ended up in an insane asylum. And ah. so those kind of questions bear in on her. What's reality and what's fiction? And then um, a little bit later on, uh, after her husband goes out, which he does every night and she doesn't know where he goes, a uh, third person comes into the equation um, who just kind of appears out of nowhere. And so that leaves the audience questioning, OK, who is this guy? Where is he from? Does he even exist? <gasps> so we have to come to the show and find out. We won't tell anymore. 
See, I told Jessica I wouldn't tell any of the <laughs> secrets. She was worried about that. So it is coming up again, the Pennsylvania Theater of Performing Arts. Jessica and Company, directed by Adam in Gaslight. You won't want to miss this one. And I think a lot of us can relate. We'll see you again on Community and You. Northeast Pennsylvania, scenic beauty, close-knit communities. We're neighbors helping neighbors. Lehigh Valley Health Network is bringing you leading edge cancer treatment that's close to home, robotic surgery for quicker recoveries, world-class heart care and access to top specialists. All from Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton and our 15 community locations. Neighbors caring for greater Hazleton and beyond. Lehigh Valley Health Network. Are you in good hands? Call Gary McNeilis of Allstate Insurance for all your insurance needs. The McNeilis Agency has two locations to conveniently serve you, 1092 North Church Street in Hazel Township and Hometown Village Square in Hometown. Their quality service-oriented agency will make sure you get the coverage you need at a price you can afford. Call in Hazel Township at 570-454-1981 or in Hometown at 570-668-5133. Are you in good hands? For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup or have an active family lifestyle or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in for the Chrysler Pacifica Incredible Sales Event and the Jeep Celebration Event. Four Hazleton area student athletes will be continuing their academic and athletic careers at NCAA schools. WYLN's Julia Wiegan has more. Four Hazleton area student athletes will continue their academic and athletic careers at NCAA schools come this fall. Standout member of the Hazleton area girls bowling team Jenna Rapich will continue her academic and athletic career at Caldwell University on a partial athletic scholarship. And honestly, when I went to Codwell, everything was so nice, two things in one. So I want to go for a nursing degree. So with their program, I was able to be more um, flexible with not only handling that nursing degree, but also bowling at a collegiate level. But it, it, ever since I was little, I always loved to, like just visiting my mom at work, being in the hospitals, playing around with like some stuff. And it was just, it interested me. The NCAA Division II private university is located in Caldwell, New Jersey, 15 miles from New York City. Two-sport Cougar in both field hockey and lacrosse, Laura Basic will continue her academic and athletic career at Wilkes University in Wilkes-Barre. Basic plans to major in criminology to pursue her dream as a lawyer. Um, ever since I was little and I saw my dad leaving for work, I always wanted to be a state trooper. And then he was like, uh, I don't know. So then I <laughs> found law and lawyers and stuff, and that really interested me. So The Division Three Colonels are members of the MAC Freedom Conference. Hazleton field hockey player Michaela Cavanis will continue her academic and athletic career at Misericordia University in Dallas. Cavanis plans to major in medical imaging to pursue her dream in radiology. When I went to visit the program, I wasn't sure exactly what I was interested in, and then that just kind of sparked my interest. So, yeah, it's like it's crazy. I never thought I'd be playing. Like, I mean, I wanted to play, but I never thought I could have the chance to play in college. Cavanis won't stray far from her old Cougar pride at the Division Three University, which is part of the Freedom Conference. And finally, another two-sport Cougar in both field hockey and lacrosse, Malia Oates, will continue her academic and athletic career at Gwynedd Mercy University in suburban Philadelphia. However, Hotz made the tough decision to only continue with lacrosse and major in occupational therapy. My grandmother, when she got sick, an occupational therapist really helped her, so I saw the impact that she, that occupational therapist had on her life, so I wanted to do that with others. You have to have patience because it might take a while for people to like get adjusted to like the illness or disease that they have. The Division Three Griffins play in the Colonial States Athletic Conference. Hazelton bids farewell to four of its former athletes and wishes them success in their future. Reporting from Hazel Township for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. And congratulations to all four of them. State Representative Gerald Mollard, uh, Jer Jared Muller, excuse me, will sponsor a free shredding event for residents of the 119th Legislative District from 10 a.m. till noon on May 19th in the upper parking lot of John S. Fine High School in Nanticoke. 
The event will be held rain or shine, where documents will be shredded on site and all materials collected will be recycled. Event uh, residents are encouraged to bring any unneeded documents that contain personal information. The event is only for residential documents, so no business documents will be accepted. People should not bring plastic, such as paper protectors, binders, uh, checkbook covers, or materials, such as large spring clips, wires from wired bound notebooks, and uh, file folders with metal prongs uh, materials. They cannot be recycled, just paper only. Tonight, WYLN has two tickets to give away for an upcoming Beatlemania concert at the Alice C. Wilsey Performing Arts Center. The event will be this Saturday, May 12th, which starts at 7.30. So, get out your Beatle t-shirts, join the crowd, and twist and shout to the music of the world's greatest rock band with Beatlemania Now. And touring for more than a decade, Beatlemania, Beatlemania Now has become the premier multimedia Beatle show in America today. The show incorporates as many as seven costume changes and features a big screen video presentation and the band performs over 35 songs in the two hour extravaganza. Wow! If you want your chance to win two tickets, call right now at 570-459-1869 extension 1172. Leave your name your phone number and the town you live in. Your name will be entered into the drawing and we will call you if you win. Again, the event takes place May 12th at the Alice C. Wilsey Performing Arts Center. Stay with us to look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. At the Joyce Insurance Group, we offer insurance tailored to your needs. We protect what matters most to you. We've been serving the needs of thousands of clients throughout Northeast Pennsylvania since 1955. Our professional agents are dedicated to providing you with a great insurance experience. With 62 years in business, our clients are the reason that we care the most. Ask any of our 5,000 plus satisfied customers and they'll tell you the right choice is Joyce. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and train comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Weather on WYLN TV 35 is brought to you by State Representative Tara Tuhill. Paid for by the committee to elect Tara Tuhill.
You're watching Tamaqua's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.